Hi everyone, I'm here today as promised to start with this wonderful week of giveaways relating to our uh, book, The PCOS Plan, that's coming out April 14th. I'm obviously very excited. I'm so happy to see that so many of you are excited just like we are. So I decided this week to uh, do a little bit of a fun thing. I don't do a lot of videos, so as promised, I'm going to do a video a day, every day, to answer some of your questions. Um, I've been receiving some of your screenshots of your pre-orders uh, for our book, and I want to thank you so much. The pre-order link is in my profile. So here we are today with probably the most common question that I get asked, and also because I can relate to this so much, being a woman and having uh, really grown up as a woman, a young woman with PCOS. And one of the most common questions that I get is, what to do when you are craving. So if you're a woman with PCOS and you're craving obviously sugar, which, which is what uh, most people crave when they're craving something, sugar or, or salty like chips and junk. And I mean, this is, these are the most common cravings. But very often from women with PCOS, I get this question. What should you do? What should you eat? Uh, or do I guess if you're craving sugar, chocolate, or you know whatever your your sugar of choice is, and very often people will think, well, can I uh, substitute for healthier quote unquote alternatives like bananas, a very common one. If I'm craving uh, sweets, should I have a banana? Or if I'm craving, you know, um, chocolate, should I have um, some berries wh with whipped cream? I guess this would be. A very logical sort of answer people would think, especially for people in the low carb community, because you think, well, you're uh, choosing healthier and lower carb alternatives if you're going for the bananas and berries, for example. Well, my answer to this question, because like I said, it's a super common question, is that if you're a woman with PCOS or if you're somebody with insulin resistance and you're craving, don't feed that craving. So I often talk about craving as the insulin beast. I've written a little bit about this. And so as your craving gets bigger and bigger and you feed that craving with uh, all these healthier alternatives, the beast gets bigger and bigger. So the solution is don't feed the insulin beast. You want to either starve the beast and that's what intermittent fasting is great for, or you want to tame the beast. So often choosing foods that are not sweet at all. They're not sweet tasting at all. Foods that are higher in, in adequate amounts of protein and healthy fat. And this will tame the beast, as I, as I call it. If the concept of insulin is foreign to you, and the concept of insulin resistance as a woman with PCOS is foreign to you, I highly encourage that you look up and you read Dr. Fung's first book, The Obesity Code. I think this is the link. As I often talk about and I talk about in my lectures, this was that uh, light bulb moment for me, linking PCOS and insulin resistance. Understanding that the reason why you crave more sugar or the reason why maybe you graze and you eat uh, throughout the day is because of this insulin uh, factor. So this is a super important point. So again, my answer to your very good question and very common question, what to do if you're craving sugar? Don't feed that craving, all right? Try some fasting. That will help decrease the craving. Have a full, healthy meal that doesn't have um, sweet tasting things at all. Tame that beast by feeding it real food. No sugar, no grains, no processed stuff. All right, so I'll be back tomorrow with another one, uh, another answer to one or more of your questions. Thank you, everyone.